All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Quraish. We just to say the name of the only, the only name, Salakia, the only true name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never to waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. And to the few sisters that watch and the believers, to you I say shalom as well. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you to another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts, okay? Now, um... You know, having dinner last night, you know, um, with the fam, and uh, we uh, we started watching this series, this nature series. I forget the name of it, okay? But we started on the first episode of it, and um, you know, um, my, my my rib, okay? She, um, you know, she was just marveling at you know the the wondrous works. Okay, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, as the scriptures repeat over and over again, how wonderful are his works, you know, and um, she was like, the earth is so beautiful, and I was like, yep, even even at his weakest state, okay, and the earth is in his weakest state, okay, when you go into, uh, uh, I believe, I know it's in the Apocrypha, okay, um, I believe, I want to say it's in Second Ezra, but uh, where it speaks about um the, the the earth has uh has lost her strength okay and also it speaks about um um how we're in the the 11th part and in part of the 12th have passed and this was during the times of Ezra you know if I'm quoting it right okay and um you know like I said I said you know the earth is, is still beautiful in its lowest estate, okay? And then, you know, opened up that, that can of uh, Edomite worms, you know, and said, uh, you know, hey, uh, and, and we did, they were going into, you know, how the ecosystem uh, works and, um, you know, how, how different species of animals are in the rainforest, you know, all, all that good nature stuff, man. And I always been a fanatic of that, you know, growing up always, always, you know, and, you know, coming into this ministry and then understanding, OK, uh, how the Heavenly Father has created all things to work within themselves and to uh, basic, basically, basically, uh, uh, um, you know, de depend on uh, one another for for the ecosystem to function as the Heavenly Father did. So when you get it, uh, for instance, OK, uh, uh, over overfishing. Uh, especially for abominations, you know, uh, uh, you know, foods that the Heavenly Father, well, not food, okay, uh, sea life, okay, that the Heavenly Father didn't deem food, okay, food is something that's consumable, crabs, lobster, shrimp, you know, uh, uh, mollusks, and things of that nature, okay, seafood, they're actually not food, okay, so when you overfish them, okay, out of the seas, then you throw off the whole balance of the ocean. And that's why you see a lot of fish and, I mean, a lot of whale, yeah, whales and fish and things, uh, you know, popping up dead in mass numbers. Okay, why? Because this devil has thrown the course of, of nature completely off. Okay, and that's why the scriptures say what? In Revelations, the 11th chapter, they say the Lord will destroy him that destroyeth the earth. And that's exactly what this devil is doing, man. Okay. And that's what the conversation led to. You know, it went from how beautiful the earth is and how stated how that it's in its lowest state and it's still beautiful. OK, but why is it in, in its lowest state? OK, because of you damn devils, man. OK, and we get it. You know, the, uh, uh, you are the devil the Bible speaks of. OK, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan. OK, and the word Satan means adversary. And that's exactly what you are. You, you are adverse to everything that is life, okay? Like the elder apostle Gabar always likes to say, he's the harbinger of death, okay? Okay, 
the, 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 the scriptures say what the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill. Okay, and that's that's your MO. That's you know what what your uh, criteria is based upon. Okay, that is your resume: death, murder, rape, robbery, slaughter, uh, uh, conceit. You know, uh, pride. You know all all the things that the heavenly Father uh, loathes, man. Okay, and they went into a segment speaking about the uh, the Russian leopard. Okay, saying that you know basically, uh, you know they named the endangered number. Okay, they're endangered. And I'm like, they they dwell in the most harshest climates, you know, in Russia. And we all know about that harsh, harsh, cold, cold, cold winter, okay? That that winters that that take place in Russia, okay? And yet and still, this this animal's in danger. So these damn devils are going in uh, 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 sub-zero frigid temperatures to hunt this beautiful, beautiful creature, okay? To the point where he's in danger, you know, and and I and when they were saying it, then I I told Marib, I said, now watch, listen to the reason why why they're in danger, and he said, oh, over over uh, over hunting, and um, basically uh, them being forced out of their natural ha uh, natural habitat. You damn devils, man! Here it is, the heavenly Father gave you the 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 fatness of the earth, okay, which ultimately goes into the oil, okay, but. You know that hey, that's one of the number one commodities on the planet. You know, so he's cornered the market, and, 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 and as the scriptures say, Job nine and twenty four, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, so he, I guess, him having dominionship over the whole earth wasn't enough. Okay, yeah, I got dominionship, but I want to destroy this bitch, man, and that's exactly what you've done, man. Okay. Then they show the segment of the rainforest, you know, and, and how much life and how lustrous it is and the, the just the, the the dynamic of how everything works. You know, how uh, the bottom floors because of the, the, the canopies, OK, don't get that much sunlight. But the, 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 the creatures that live down there have adapted, you know, and, and, and you know. I don't like to lean so much on adaptation, although that does take place. Okay. But ultimately, all praises be to Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see? So here it is. The Heavenly Father through his son, who created all things, okay? Uh, with the help of the Alahayim, the powers, okay, okay, that you read about in Genesis, the first chapter, when it says God is actually saying Alahayim meaning the powers, which ultimately goes back to the angels, which ultimately goes back to the 144,000 uh, 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 men that were with uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, in the beginning, uh, uh, the, the first spirit created, creating everything, okay? So here it is, you know, and, and, and they, they, they stated, you know, in that rainforest that, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the amount of insects, okay? He said, we don't know how many, of course, and really, when you say, oh, there's, there's 30 different species of bird, you don't know, okay? Here you go with your goddamn God complex trying to trying to call shit, man, okay? And, and, and playing both sides of the, uh, 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 the spectrum, man, or the pendulum, you know, or straddling in the fence, you know? On one side, showing us the beauty and the marvelous uh, works of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, but you're the culprit, the, the main culprit that's destroying it, you know? And that shit was sickening, man. You know, it was sickening for it when we when we start talking about that, okay? Because as we were talking about it, it's constantly showing more and more beauties, you know, that ultimately you devils are destroying, man, okay? But the great news is, you know, the great news is that uh, the Heavenly Father, okay, is it, it, just, okay? And judgment will, will, will come, man, Okay? Judgment will come, you know, and rightfully so, okay? Why? Because as, as the scripture I quoted, Revelation 11 and 18, he shall destroy them that destroy the earth. Because if he doesn't destroy him, he's going to destroy the earth completely, man. The whole earth will self-implode if the heavenly father didn't intervene. But we all know, according to scripture, that the heavenly father will intervene. He has to, okay? Because... This this entity that the Heavenly Father created, it was only created for destruction. It created the, 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 the wicked, 
as the scriptures say. I have created the, uh, 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 the wicked for the day of evil. Okay. And also uh, the scriptures speak about um, uh, he has created the waster to destroy. Now that's going into the nuclear missiles. Okay. But uh, 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 who created the nuclear missiles? Okay. Obviously they're uh, of you. How about Shemiah Shai? Okay. But who physically takes credit for creating those missiles? Okay. Hey, well, watch the movie Oppenheimer. Okay. He actually said that now I have become destroyer of the worlds. You see? But prior to him actually, uh, uh, you know, committing suicide, meaning shooting those nuclear missiles on, on themselves. Okay. Well, mainly here in America, you know, in a few places scattered abroad, Israel is going to get pelted, you know, but mainly here in America. Okay. And when you destroy America, then you destroy your whole power system. Okay. And that's why the, the Lord had the spirit on that devil to say that I have become destroyer of the worlds. And he is. He's going to destroy his own world. But prior to that happening, he's been destroying it, man. OK, deforesting the Amazon fires taking place in the Amazon. Are you kidding me? When it when that place is uh, that keyword rainforest. OK, so how is there an instance where it gets dry enough for it to ignite itself? OK, see now. You know, in dry lands and, and you know, and, and, and forests that are uh, predominantly dry. Okay, you can understand why. You know, it gets hot and you know a, a, a dry leaf will ignite and then you start a forest fire. But in the rainforest, you kidding me? Where it's all it's constantly, uh, constantly wet, constantly wet, Salakia. You. you know, a, a fire starts. It's a damn shame, man. You you just get off on, 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 you know, and we get it. You know, that's that's how you were created, you know, but we're going to call that shit out, man. We're going to call that shit out until Shiloh comes, man, and, and put you damn devils in subjugation, man, because it don't make no sense, man. You know, and like I said, we were watching that show and it was like, man, look, look at the most high, man. Look at this ecosystem. Look at all these di uh, amount of different creatures, you know. And that's another thing that popped up. Like, how could you say that there is no God, man? So you mean to tell me all of these things just blah from a Big Bang or from evolution, you know? And who started that bullshit? You damn devils, man. You know, with your with your wicked ass God complex, you know. But hey, this this is where the buck stops, man. The Most High has poured His Spirit out upon His men, okay, and us uh, 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 preaching against you and against your kingdom. Uh, symbolizes your end, man. Okay. So yeah, man. I just wanted to, you know, speak on that. It kind of had me vexed earlier, you know. And you know how we do, you know. We vex, vent about it, and and, and we we vent uh, through teaching the scriptures of your high body shemiah So hey, you know, uh, just wanted to share that. And um, I don't want to write this out. Was that a fine? So with that, I say Kwame Yashirala Shalom.